bad. Um, the uh, talking about the assignment three form of a letter, and I'm going to be doing a critique, so I want to go over the assignment first. So, um, as mentioned previously, dealing with letters, letter forms, words, type, typography is really the medium that a graphic designer uses. Um, so it's important to become very familiar with it, with typography. And this is a good project to, um, um, to do, to help you do that. So we'll talk about the assignment. Um, so it involves removing as much of the letter as possible while leaving enough to allow its identification. Okay. Um, and then this this really does make you consider what is it about this letter that is unique. And um, let's see, I'm not sure if it says cap or lowercase. Yeah, so you have quite a few letters. I mean, almost 26 plus whatever is unique, like I was going to say 26, like a 52, but it actually, you know, the O's are similar, and the there's some letters that are similar, um, Z's and S's, thing, V's, W's, things like that. But um, regardless, you have quite a few letters to um, to choose from. Um, and again, it's the the goal is not to easily and quickly identify the letter, but it's important to have just enough to ensure that after a process of elimination that the remaining couldn't be any other letter. So the final composition should be roughly equal parts of black and white, figure and ground, um, white space, and or object and white space. Um, okay, so... Um, Select a typeface, explore the letter in various typefaces. I think it's selected a letter, but I think you got the idea. Um, and then, yeah, you're going to work in Illustrator. You get a big letter, 18 by 18, and make sure that it's equal black and white and, and just enough to identify a letter. Okay, hopefully that's enough. Of, um, of what we need here to to begin. All right, so this looks like um, the beginning of a process book. Here's the project sheet, and here's some explorations. This letter is H. Um, I think we know these are all H's. Some of them could or couldn't work, right? It's good to good with the exploration. And then these are different E's. And so I think this is the final one. And I, that's, uh, it's good. It's almost 50 50. Here's our final. Nice shapes going on. And you know, um, a lot of times these large letters that, well, these could be the basis of a, lar of a poster, right? So maybe you have like a big poster where the letter is extremely important um, to either the institution or the event or whatever you're advertising or making a poster of. Sometimes the letter is extremely important. And so this would be a very valid consideration. So this one's well done. Um, I like the cropping and how you know, there's a nice flow, there's some nice spacing going on, um, nice shapes. So, yeah, well done. And letter E, definitely. Couldn't be anything else. All right, so we go to the next one. Um, project sheet, some considerations. Looks like we're going to be seeing a letter R. Okay, that's great. It's good to try different typefaces. And um, that looks like that may be the final right there. 
And is it uh, a, hmm, it, it could be um, the letter R. I'm a little bit surprised it was flipped. It was mirrored. Um, I, makes, I think that makes it a little less accessible. Um, hmm. Trying to think of what other letter it could be. So here's why: because this downstroke, which is the main downstroke of the letter R, goes this direction, and then we see this thing kicking off in this direction. So that's got to be the leg of an R. It being reversed makes it a little confusing, but I like the uh, the cropping, the shapes going on. Um, the flipping is a little unusual, but uh, I like what you've done here. Okay, so we go to project sheet. It's like E's are being considered. Oh yeah, these are these are a lot of fun. Okay, cool. And then here's our final, I'm assuming. Um, could this be any other letter? Well, I mean, if we rotate it and flip it, could it be a, a 2 or a 5, possibly? I think the right reading, I'm just kind of going back to this one, I think it being, now this one, I don't think it could be another letter. But um, I think it being, being right reading is kind of important. Because this could be, if, if this one were allowed, we would go, oh, if we could flip and rotate all of them. So that means this one could might be something else, but I can see how it could be a lowercase e. I like the shapes going on. Um, I like that it was on an angle, kind of gives some action, some um, so nice. Okay, so looks like we have some R's done in aftershock, and yeah, it's really close to an A, except if that little slit is so important. Isn't it? I mean, that one could be a K there, and this could be an A. That little slit is extremely important. This could be a K as well. Let's zoom out so we can see. Yeah, I think this is a good choice because that slit just has to be there for this to be an R. Oh yeah, that's cool too. Now I know it's not 50-50, and it almost looks like a lowercase i, except for this over here. Then this makes you go, okay, that's not a lowercase i, it's something else. Clever. Um, increase that. Run through the project sheet. Oh, this is the entire project sheet. Actually, I really liked these. These were nice, especially this one. That, mm, is that the one I'm thinking of? Maybe. Okay, um, here we are. Okay, so we got a lower uh, letter G. And this could even work for a logo, depending on what's in the negative space and what's being communicated. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Okay. All right, well, this little, um, oh, what is it called? Capital G is the only one that has this little thing here. And there's a specific name, I cannot remember it for the life of me. I know down at the bottom it's called a spur, but I can't remember this one. But that kind of gives it away. Yeah, that's a letter G, definitely. Good one. Okay, I'm gonna run through the project sheet. Uh, okay, here we go. Yeah, those are, I like the idea of sketching it. Um, um, it. It's difficult when you're trying to work with a typeface. And typefaces are, you want to make sure they're right on, but sketching or something that just is important about sketching. Let's just zoom out here. Okay, I'm guessing a letter K. Nothing else it could be, right? Okay. Um, 
I think that would be. Whoops. How that? Maybe I'm seeing it wrong, but that doesn't look very identifiable. This does. And, and maybe there's just something wrong here, but I don't see a letter in there. I see a rounded shape here. Yeah, I don't think this one works. I think the other one does. And it's not 50-50, but okay. So let me zoom out a little bit. There's a capital letter E. It's capital. <laughs> I think the English used to say that. That's a capital. Capital boat or whatever. Um, okay, some good explorations. L letter E, gotta be. Um, we would see a W or an M would look a little different. Some typefaces it might look this way for M. So that's maybe a little tricky bit, but uh, my guess is an E, capital E. All right, so then we'll go run through this. Oh, good. Um, we have some, a lot of different three script uh, to serif. Zoom out just a bit. Wow, the script really kind of scribbles across the page. It's pretty neat. For that matter, this also jig jags across the page too. Zoom out a little bit here. Yeah, cool. Um, I really like the quick immediacy of this. Um, yeah, it's nice to so negatives, it's definitely, well, it could be a W, <laughs> but it comes down on this side, so it's an M. Nice work, I like this a lot. Okay, so, okay, so someone's looking at um, letter J, P, and H, G, A, a lot of exploration here. And G again, that's very similar to the one we saw before. Um, yeah, could be nothing else but a G. Uh, I, I guess if I could suggest anything, just make it a little bolder so it would use up more, more black to white. Um, let's see if this is what. Oh, no, they, just, so they tend to change up. Like, oh, wait, there's more here. Oh, I see. H. Okay, and then this is the final. Okay, that's a little more black to white uh, ratio that we're after. Very identifiable as a G. Process book. I'm going to zoom out a bit so you can see. Wow. So it looks like the, the terminal or the finial of a lowercase f or possibly a J. Um, looks like a J. Well, I mean, hmm. I th F's, lowercase f's in some typefaces do end this way, and it's close to the letter S too, although S may have a little bit more of a spine to it. Lowercase f, yeah, That'd be my thought, but I can see, what was the name, a J? Okay. I could see a J too, but I don't know if it totally nails nails it, you know, just because of the crossbar and things like that. Kind of. And not that all J's have crossbars in all typefaces. All right, so process book. Someone's investigating the letter T and different typefaces. And um, Oh, okay, so kind of eating away. Yeah, we could do that. That's that's legit. As long as we can tell what it is. Um, yeah, I think it does say a letter T. I mean, even if this were gone, this would probably be enough for a T, I suppose. Yeah, so, good. Um, let's take a look at 
this. It's one and only typeface. I uh, know it. Maybe a Q. Looks a little stretched. I'm not really sure what it is. Um, R Q. I'm guessing a Q. Uh, anyone? <laughs> not that we. This one doesn't really show what it is. Okay. Um, so let me give you quickly permit how to how to change this for whoever had an issue with this. Um, so you would log into portfolio.com, go to your project that you want to share, um, choose the blue box called edit project, then click the gear icon and then click public. It's a radio button, public. This allows everyone else to see your project. Click now click done and then save. So that's how you do it. So we don't get these anymore. All right, um, so different types for different letters. And hopefully we'll get to see a final product. Ah, it's the letter delta. It's a Greek letter. No, it's a letter A. Yeah, it looks good. Nice. Um, yeah, could be nothing else, that triangle. And it's interesting that tri that letter A is used as a triangle a lot in logos and things. When people try to boil down the letter A, what does it go to? Capital letter A goes to a triangle. Um, okay, so just, just a solution. I'm guessing it's a Q because uh, of this tail. It's a nice shape. I really do love these open face types. That's what this is called with this white area here, open face. Yeah, cube. This is a really clever one too. But yeah, love the one you chose. That's great. And um, I should mention this now, and then I'll mention it at the end. These are my critiques. I'm not going to write anything in your gradebook. If you want to hear what I have to say about it, you'll go to the video. If you want more, Come visit me at my um, at my drop by hour, Tuesday ten to eleven, and Thursday from three to four. Okay, let's look at this next project. Ooh, this is nice. Nice big bold shapes, easily read. <laughs> okay, that's kind of good to go. Just you know, do some. Self critiquing. Yep, agree, those are very easily read. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these little makes these important. Um, yeah, cool shape, cool design. I like that. X is very nice. Yeah, well done. Okay, so here's a project sheet. And we go through some explorations. Nice, good thumbnails. Like to see explorations. Those are very, very nice, almost abstract. That's what I really like about this assignment. It takes it almost to an abstract level um, for these letters. But because we're designers, they need to be legible. They need to communicate most of the time. This looks like a big letter R or a lowercase k, yeah, lowercase k. Nice. Yeah, cool. I like this one a lot. I think that's really some lovely shapes. Good job. And going through a project sheet here, identifying some things. Teardrop the A, open, the open face, negative spark. Part of these uh, engraved letters, spine K, or sorry, spine of the S, spur, and I think the, yeah, it does look like an arrow, I agree. Hello. Now these are all crammed together, so it's a little bit harder to see them. 
But there's some nice shapes going on. Which one did we pick here? Okay, I'm guessing. Yeah. Well, yeah. Very nice. Yeah, I like that. Different bold shapes going on. Great. So remember, these can be really used as a basis for a layout or a grid, right? We'll talk about that later, but this keep these in your back pocket. Save, save them, because we may do another project with them. Now this one is our last one. I'm having a hard time, let's see, identifying this. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a little, I kind of don't have any idea. Okay, and I'm looking for hints in here. <laughs> um, looks like the letter B. I'm not really sure these lines around here. Oh, is it on its side? Is it stretched out? Yeah, I'm just a little unsure. I guess on the side it could be a B, but then this bottom should not be so long. Or if it were a P, this shouldn't be so long. Or a lowercase d, this should not be. So I'm a little confused on this one, to be honest. Okay, so couple things. Um, this is your critique. If you want to get more information, visit my office hours or write and ask. Um, you're welcome to resubmit. I'm just going to give you grades at this point. Um, and I guess that's it. Thanks for tuning in.